training to fight poachers in Angola's vast and dangerous interior. Among these rangers are former soldiers who fought in the civil war that ravaged the country from 1975 to 2002. Now they battle illegal hunting that threatens the fragile recovery of Angola's wildlife. After peace, then I was demobilized. Uh, I'm a, a, a ranger, as we call it, a nature soldier. Elephants were routinely shot from helicopters during the civil war to finance the conflict through ivory sales. Now Angola's government has vowed to revive wild animal numbers by ending poaching and ivory trafficking. Authorities say they want to create a wildlife park in the Okavango region, which will rival Africa's biggest reserves. This area is the least sampled landscape on the planet for botanical diversity and biodiversity. So we have discovered almost 20 species that are currently under assessment. These are reptiles, plants, uh, even a small mammal that we suspect is a, is a new species. But Angola's recent oil boom has been hit hard by falling prices and some question if the country can really afford it. Angola is definitely experiencing some challenges, with, particularly with the decline of international oil prices. This has had a massive knock-on effect to the, to the economy of the country. And of course, issues like conservation and wildlife, you know, they slide off the agenda faster than others. And so, yes, they've had cuts and it makes it even more challenging to, to grow the conservation base and, and success, which is what they would love to do. Conservationists remain optimistic, saying that Angola's vast savanna could bounce back in a decade. It's up to these so-called nature soldiers to make that dream a reality.